by an eerie and dangerous pall of smoke as we come on the air tonight. Dangerous conditions here and officially the worst air quality on the planet and the worst this city has ever recorded. The source, wildfires in eastern Canada. The smoke caught in an atmospheric trap. Right now, over 115 million people from New England to Texas are under air quality alerts, 90 million of them due to smoke. The thick smoke layer driving temperatures down, affecting air traffic and forcing the postponement of sporting events. And face masks back in style as millions seek relief from air quality index readings deemed unhealthy for everyone. Al Roker will tell us when the skies may clear, but first to Emily Aketa with the very latest. Tonight, cityscapes unrecognizable in much of the country. An eerie glow disguising Manhattan, the Washington Monument practically hidden, and a haze over Detroit as warnings of worsening air quality blanket newscasts. Dry conditions are causing more wildfires to spark around the region. Outside right now, a picture that is simply otherworldly. My goodness, it's heavy smoke in the sky. The smoke today clouding skies so much, the FAA issued a ground stop, temporarily pausing all flights into LaGuardia and slowing air travel into Newark and Philadelphia. From the Midwest to the Northeast and down the East Coast, 90 million Americans are under air quality alerts from wildfire smoke. The dangerous plumes are funneling into 16 states from fires in Canada, where more than 400 are burning, 239 of them remain out of control. The U.S. with help on the ground. We have already deployed over 600 U.S. firefighters and personnel, as well as equipment like water bombers to help Canada battle the fires. Exposure to poor air quality can lead to headaches, irritated eyes, coughing, and difficulty breathing, especially for those with respiratory conditions like asthma. In Hackensack, New Jersey, Dr. Ida Capo is seeing a rush of patients. They could become extremely short of breath and have difficulty breathing in a very short period of time by being exposed to this. For the second day in a row, New York City recorded the worst air quality in the world among yes, major cities. Its air quality index, or AQI, today reaching hazardous levels and nearly doubling that of Delhi, India. Any AQI above 150 is considered unhealthy. Higher than 300 is hazardous. New York City today hit 342. The city's iconic skyline today transformed into frightening shades of color. The apocalyptic-like scenes reminiscent of West Coast wildfires that cast an eerie hue over the San Francisco Bay Area in 2020. Major League Baseball and the WNBA postponing games in Philly and New York as New York City and Buffalo Public Schools canceled all outdoor activities. The state's governor calling the air quality an emergency situation. The bottom line is this. If you can stay indoors, stay indoors. Uh, this is detrimental to people's health. Young children, seniors, and pregnant women are also at a higher risk. That's why expecting mother, Michelle Maves Delagenio, is teaching piano remotely today. I'm not going anywhere. I was supposed to teach in Manhattan, and it just didn't seem worth it today, especially with, with the baby on the way. To stay safe, experts say, check air quality alerts regularly on the EPA's website, airnow.gov. If you have a portable filtration unit, run it on high. Clean your air conditioner filter and run that unit's fan on high as well to move as much air as possible through the filter. And limit your time outside. When people do head out, should they wear masks? I would. Um, it's, it's, it's safer. It's going to take a lot of those larger particles out.